I want to read off a prayer to you. So it is a prayer for us all. It is called Deliverance of the Mind Prayer. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I am certain that it is you that have prompted in my spirit to pray for the members of this group as it relates to mental illness and mental challenges. Firstly, I cover you that's reading this prayer with the whole armor of God. Secondly, I dispatch the warring angels of the Lord to wage war on all opposing evil spirits that have been assigned against your minds. Thirdly, I cover your thoughts, ideas, thinking process, and imagination with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I call upon you, whom your word has described as a consuming fire. I am asking you, Lord, to burn at the root of every spirit of depression, mental dullness, forgetfulness, mind blankness, blankness, confusion, incoherence, fear, suicide, strange thoughts of death, worry, spirits of heaviness, sexually perverted thoughts, violence, unforgiveness, and bitterness. Father, I bind the spirits of laziness, procrastination, the lack of willpower, might, courage, and determination. Father, give ear to my cry. I pray that you rain down fire and brimstone like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah upon every spirit that is consistently attacking our minds, particularly in the area of doubting your word, reading your word, and most of all, not being able to focus on your word. I command the spirits of anxiety and panic attacks to die in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray especially for those that have received devastating news such as the loss of a loved one, a broken marriage, divorce, an unwelcome doctor's report. I command these spirits in the power of darkness that has been tormenting these people to be arrested and bind spiritually and cast into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I attack the spirit of uncertainty with your power, which is your word that says, if you be for us, who can be against us? I now call upon the angels <clears throat> of the Lord, who has been given charge over us and to keep us in all our ways, to go forth and to take back what the enemy has stolen from us, mentally and spiritually. I command Satan, whom God has said his sole purpose towards us is to kill, steal, and to destroy, to return unto every reader of this prayer all that he has taken from them in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word gives us legal right when it said that if the thief Satan be found, he must restore sevenfold what he has stolen. 
Proverbs 6 and 31. God, I earnestly pray for that person reading this right now that's flowing in tears because this prayer is evidence that you've heard their inward and outward cry concerning their mental state, Lord. Provide them with your peace that passes all understanding. Your words say, Great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Psalm 119 and 165. You are indeed an on-time God, one who answers the prayers of his people. Finally, Father, we want to thank you in advance for soundness of mind, the ability to focus, concentrate, make sound decision, and to possess a sense of freedom in our thoughts. Thank you for pure, pleasant imagination, the ability to freely think positively. Thank you for giving us the power to relinquish our minds of perverted sexual and moral thoughts, negativity, evil imagination, and thinking evil of others. We ask these things and believe they are done by faith. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. So I believe this is the end here. So the author of this prayer is Minister Kevin L.A. Ewing. And this is his email here. Okay. God bless.